If you pick up a book named Pastel, I believe that you are at the very least interested in running with scissors or the games that they make. And that is why I have very conflicting thoughts about the contents of this book. It starts with author's memories about his childhood, among which there was a game named Pastel. He claims that he loved it back then, but just a few pages later seems to change his mind to how the game was pure garbage and succeeded only because it was more cruel and violent than others. He doesn't stop at that and proceeds with expressing how he dislikes Win Stacy, the founder of Running with Scissors. Talking about how you disagree with the game creator's views on life and politics, and hinting that you consider him dumb, doesn't seem like a good idea when you're writing an entire book about his company and games. In an interview, Win Stacy said that Running with Scissors only employ people who are absolute fans of their games, and they wish the book was written by someone like that too. Luckily, later in the book professionalism takes over, and author forgets about his attitude to the people behind Postal for the sake of a good and surprisingly informative read. The information provided always bounces between an interview with Wins Desi and Mike J and actual gameplay. What happens in Postal series is described in great detail, which will make you understand a lot about these games even if you haven't played a single one of them. A big part of the book is dedicated to informing readers about the story of Running with Scissors. You'll learn about other cool games Wins Desi worked on before transitioning to own IP, and how people denied to work with him and reviewers had to lower their scores because their bosses said so. Approximately 4% of the book is dedicated to Postal 2, which is a shame because that's a game most people picture when they think of Postal. It's especially sad because talking about Postal Movie, and even more so about its creator Uwe Ball, takes 9 times more space, which is 37% of the book. This film section is particularly annoying, because the co-author of this book keeps talking about himself, politics and the filmmaker with his other films, much more than about the Postal Movie itself. What's even worse, he references a lot of actors and films for no reason, and I bet that unless you're a film critic yourself, you have no idea who or what they are and will completely lose the point of given references. Again, I just believe that people buy a Postal book to read about Postal, and not about the people they have probably never heard of. Anyway, I still consider Postal by Brock Wilbur and Nathan Rabin a good introduction to Postal, provided that you've never watched the film or played the game, especially its first part. However, this simply isn't a book you should consult to deepen your knowledge about it. On the other hand, reading it is a great way to get to know Wins Desi a bit better. At the beginning of the interview, he said, you can ask me anything, but quote me without modifying it. Which, with author's help, resulted in some fascinating text to read. So to end this review, I'd like to quote this person, who he thought of as a crazy maniac in part because of awful journalists and press. This is not hell. Every day is a new opportunity to be happy and to do new things. And those things should make you happy. Do what you can to make the world better, and don't ever let yourself be a victim. So if you're interested in reading a quick and brief introduction to everything Running with Scissors was up to, and you'd like to support my book reviews at the same time, Please get this book using my paid link from the description below this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.